Did he smack him? Oh my gosh! He smacked him in the face! What? Is that the way? Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh my gosh! You, can't say that. you couldn't do that now. <laughs> Good I said that, make up your own stuff! No, it's fucking this time! So today I thought I would check out a popular comedian called Don Rickles. Don Rickles, every time I googled him, came up with the word roast. So I'm gonna guess he's kind of a comedian who slags off other people and maybe other comedians, we'll see. As an Irish girl myself, part of our banter is teasing one another, so if he does do that, I'm definitely gonna be on board. Once. It's funny, you know? I believe you can joke about anything. It all depends on how you construct the joke. Before we get into today's video, do be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, a terrible thing will be for you. And that thing will be the next time you're out, you're gonna think you look really good, and then someone's gonna take a photo of you. You're gonna see the photo, and you're gonna realize, um, I don't look so fly after all. So like, share, comment, subscribe. And she never wore that dress again. Of insults, the merchant of venom, the pussycat with claws, Mr. Don Rickles. Oh, I love the stage. It's so classy. Don Rickles. That might be very cool. It's a wonderful thrill to be here with uh, Dean Martin on his show. Dean Martin has been a friend of many, many years. Dean, I, I say this from my heart, really. I've never liked you. Never. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I mean, where's a man going with Rolores? Huh? I love Dean Martin. <laughs> Glass of milk. Have fat? <laughs> oh, he's so handsome. I want to wish you a prickly heat all over your stomach. <laughs> Pat Boone, one of our great stars, right? As a daytime show, it's marvelous. The way he comes out, Hi, I'm Pat Boone. What do you want, a cookie? <laughs> Making a fool of yourself. You're going nowhere, Pat. I'm a friend. <laughs> the pimples, you still think it comes from Hershey's, eh? <laughs> now, I kid around about people. I got a reputation. Ricardo Montalban, a good friend. You know this. I got a reputation of being, like Newsweek said, the merchant of venom, destroys stars. You people in the back, this is not true. I love people, really. Ricardo, why do I kid you? Why? Because I don't like you. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking this is maybe some kind of award ceremony to have so many stars there. There are definitely some huge names and it kind of has a Ricky Gervais vibe of like famous celebrities get the mic taken out of them. I'm definitely on board with that. Let's humble them a little bit. The flies all around me. Here's some mud. Finish your hut. Hey, Ricardo, yeah, I mean, every time you see him with Esther Williams, jump in the pool, jump in the pool. <laughs> oh, my kid, isn't this fun, Pat? You're staying up late and everything, eh? Later on, you put on your pajamas and run around the room playing dump truck. <laughs> isn't this fun, Dane, eh? He's laughing and the Jewish guy took your wallet. Oh, my God. Please, folks. Danny Thomas, great, great star. Really is. And I kid about Danny many, many times. It's good to see you again, Danny, and all the baloney about the Jewish people and the Egyptians with war. Nonsense. I love and respect you. I say this from my heart in your native tongue. Masalamaha nimikai mahana. Which means I never want you around me. You understand that, Danny? No, he's a great. You ever see his nose? When he breathes, the lip gets sucked right up. Oh <laughs> you're not Lebanese, you're a hawk. Okay. The little fakakta, little earphone that you got all the time, right? Talking into a shoe. You're going to love it at the home. <laughs> Ross Martin sitting there going, I'm a cowboy. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> I kid you, Ross. I, I, I want you to know something. You, you just got married, didn't you? Is that the wife? Holy. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Take a look at what Ross Martin married, will you please? Looks like a real mercy mission. Look at this, now I got him looking at her. How do you like this? He's going, I'm right, I married a dog. Throw a stick on the floor, see if she brings it back. Oh my God, she's a beautiful woman. <laughs> Jesus. Ricardo, would you come here for a second? Ricardo, would you come here? Try, try, it's called walking, walking. 
the funny thing about when celebrities get roasted like this is if they don't laugh, they are bad sports. So they're kind of obliged to laugh, right? You're a fine actor, really. If you would, Ricardo, I kid, this is a wonderful friend. <laughs> a lot of talk in Hollywood, we don't need that. <laughs> Listen, I'd like you to do me a favor, would you? Yeah. Okay, Ricardo, for me, I, uh, for Dean, see, because you do a lot of big movies, and this would help me, see, uh, I do some acting, and I, I'd like to show you, see, that I am Geronimo, see, you be the Indian slave, Dean, would you do me a favor, come here a second, run, 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 <laughs> step back, you didn't say may I, now, oh, Jesus, okay, come back down, like a dummy, he did it, <laughs> Charlie, you and I, come here, Charlie, run, 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 hurry up, Charlie, I'm getting fed up, you and I are the two Indian slaves. We're over here. Now, when I, when I point you, just say, Oh, my gosh. The fort's on fire. You say, Is this an Indian The, the fort's on fire. <laughs> to make a mistake, he gets it. Now, I'm telling you. <laughs> Isn't this fun, Ricardo? Better than hanging around Mexico by the border going, <laughs> These jokes were not Ricardo, being you come acceptable running in from there. I send a message. See, I go, da -da, da -da. What does it say you lean over, Charlie? <laughs> Now, God, listen, Ricardo, such you nice just send the message. Dean, you come up and you say, the fort's on fire. You send the message that I give to you, okay? Good. Huh? When I tell you, dummy, you're getting on my nerves. <laughs> just look at your legs and figure out how come the veins are going the wrong way. Okay, you and I are Indians, okay? What's your first name? Wrong! Now. Oh, Bill, okay. Rise, Bill, rise, rise, rise. Now face the crowd. What am I bid for this dummy? I'll do it. Don't do Swanee. Just do what I tell you, huh? Right away, he's got to go into Swanee. Stand on the box. I'm not going to say it again. I'm warning you. Okay. Now you stand and say the story of the American Indian. You and I are Indians, okay? Dance. We're Indians. Don't make up your own steps. Just do what I do, huh? Right away, the fat kid's making up his own steps. Oh, By the way, so far, the music's great. Come on, hurry up. Uh, go crazy. When you feel it, run out in the audience and attack anybody. Uh, I'm making it up, dummy. Get over here. There's definitely a feeling like there is a camaraderie there. Obviously, they all have to kind of laugh to show that they have good nature. But also, there's like a kind of, there's an intimacy with it. I feel like they all know each other. Like they're looking to him like in on the joke kind of thing. It doesn't seem like a bad buzz. <laughs> Also, okay, people are absolutely fat guy. Fat guy leading the Jewish kid, one nothing, going into the last ten. Okay, we're both Indians. Mano, no, no, what the? Talk to me in Indian. Mano, what the? Kanaka. How? Make up something. Will you tell me? Did he smack him? Oh my gosh! He smacked him in the face. What? You couldn't do that now. <laughs> Keep my wife's name out. Your Oops. No! See, back then everybody could laugh at themselves. People, some people, cannot laugh at themselves anymore. 40 million people, I gotta pick on the one guy that's a moron. This, you really know Loretta Young, eh? Okay. <laughs> Son of a gun. Okay. No, hi, hi, hi. I dance alone. Make up your own steps now, eh? Oh my gosh. Smart shoes. Tom McCann have a sale? No. I like his outfit. Do what thing? You come in. But what can I? You're on my foot. But <laughs> what thing can I got? An Indian, an Indian, talking Indian. You say what I say. But what that thing got? But not the got. You lie, you lie. She's smacking him. Wait, I see the buffalo. How? Again, how? That's three times he smacked him in the face. Ah, Jeez. Come over here. Hurry up. Run. Leave your milk there. Get over here. You're blocking me. Stand over here. You say an Indian. Over. You say an Indian. Punawatta Kanaka. Punawatta Kanaka. Punanana. Punanana. I said that. Make up your own stuff. That's fucking this. You're great, Miss Tubby. You're great. You say, Punanana Kanaka. An Indian, you answer. What comes over the valley? That's Indian. He has a great face. I have to say, Don Rickles, what a great face. Also, we used to do in. Uh, also, in drama 
Also, when I used to do speech and drama classes when I was younger, we used to do this thing where you would make up a language and it would be kind of similar to this. Obviously, it's a little bit more touchy because he's actually taking off uh, the Indian language, I think, uh, if I'm following correctly. Some of this I'm not following completely because I don't know who some of these people are. I know Dean Martin, but yeah. I'm not gonna let you slap me again, I'll tell you that. He's a good guy. Okay. What did you prove by that little smart outburst? Self-defense, self-defense. <laughs> it's starting to get to me now. His nose? <laughs> relax, relax. He's very handsome. You'll make it up. <laughs> <laughs> you see why you're not a big star, you dumbass? <laughs> Our legs are locked. Now, okay. Da 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 They all seem to be enjoying it. Wow, how colorful are the table clothes? Get off the stage, you made a fool of yourself. Oh. Give Charlie a big hand, everybody. Is Charlie not attending the event? He's the only one not in a black party. To all of you, my friends, really, I kid around about life. But no matter what your beliefs are, we all pray for one thing. As Lyndon Baines Johnson, our great president, only said last night, what's happening? <laughs> Ernie Look at them Bordine's smoking. laughing. Big oh Academy gosh. Award winner. Remember you and Marty? He was so brilliant in Marty, and today it's over. <laughs> like that, go figure this business. Baby Rosemary, so many years I've known you. Remember the old days? You, Mary Small, are all in there. <laughs> And now your career is slowly sinking into the... <laughs> Look at this, Bob Newhart just said to the wife, he's not going to mention me. <laughs> Bob Newhart went into shock, his name wouldn't be mentioned. Oh my One gosh. of the great stammering idiots of our day, Bob Aww, Newhart. Oh, I know Bob Newhart, uh, 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 kind uh, uh, of. Johnny Carson's warm-up. He's a talk show host, right? McDonald Carey, remember at Paramount, huh? You really know Betty Hutton? <laughs> Now he's on in the afternoon. I use his show for a nightlight. He's the only doctor that can't spell pussycat. That's a you laugh. stink as a singer, I'll tell you that. Ah, oh. oh, gee, you have a lot of nights in your career. Dom DeLuise now sucking the ice, trying to go for another drink. Dom, you're great. Have you ever heard of cottage cheese? You ought to give it a shot. Can you see him in a health club with that body? Looks like a hard-boiled egg that didn't break on the dish. You got a bad body. I I'm a friend, Dom. You're never going to make friends on the beach going, Bleh. Looks like a $3 whale. Play, play, play. Anyway, gang. You have a oh, nice job with the organ and the monkey. Joey Heatherton, a great star, is here. Where are you, Joey? Are you just Where are you, Joey? Of course, I recognize you immediately. <laughs> now she's a great star. Hi, Joey. Isn't this fun? <laughs> I love that. They're all monks now. Then when you're home, Yahoo, Charlie! Sitting here like they're all Mormons going to Utah and a wagon broke. <laughs> Is that in? Anyway, gang, I think we're left with hello. <laughs> Guy Marks, marvelous tonight. Or any night that you appear. Barbara Eden. Where are you, Barbara? Where's Barbara? I oh, worked so with Barbara gorgeous. and I dream of Jeannie. Warm. Oh, I loved that show when I was a little kid. And her husband, Michael and Sarah, is not here tonight. Unfortunately, he's with Geronimo in the stronghold. <laughs> no, what, there, what, you know, what, huh? How do I know? How do I know? But, and Katerina Valente is here. <laughs> I was going to introduce her, but the note she hits, my dog runs away. <laughs> Where are you, Katerina? 
Oh, nice to see you again, dear. They're all so elegant. I met you in Vegas. Remember that night? <laughs> My humor, folks, is directed in a way to laugh at ourselves. That goes for you folks in the back. What I said about these stars isn't fun. And you have to explain that, because otherwise I wind up in a home with no milk or cookies. <laughs> I stand here, my friends, and I... Look who came in, an unknown. Who's that? Chew. Are you snoring, honey? You can't be snoring. You can't be snoring. Sorry, baby. You can't be snoring. Thank you. Who is it? Was it? Is it? No, it couldn't be. He's too young. The guy that used to play the shrink on TV? No, it's not me. Frazier? No. He'd be. This is too old. Alright, what are you, seals? You think somebody came in? Why is he here? Is the war over? Good to see you, Bob. They're all drinking. Did anybody else notice when they panned across the tables, they're all drinking some kind of Coke? Like, I would assume they have rum in them or vodka or whatever, but, like, nearly all of the tables had, like, a cola. Isn't he great when there's no cards? <laughs> Roberta, da 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 Roberta. It's over, it's over. You and Danny and Jack Benny are going to sit at the actor's home going, there goes George Burns. There goes George Burns. Show business. Now, I speak of all faiths, creeds, and colors, and why not? Because when our time is up, we will be on one team. So why do we need bigotry and nonsense? Let's enjoy while he gives us time. Will Rogers once said, I never picked on a little guy, only big people. May I say to you, fellow performers, and you folks way in the back, you are pretty big. And I thank you for making me feel important. Aww. He's pretty humble. That's nice. Yeah. I gotta agree with the sentiment there. And that sentiment is to always punch up. And that's why I do enjoy when celebrities get roasted. I didn't know who about 30, 40% of the celebrities there were, but um, I enjoyed the roasting all the same. Shout out today to a couple of very special people. Our first shout out comes from Brian Nam for his mom, Eileen. She's been dealing with some serious health problems over the past year and a half, and recently she had major surgery. Brian says he hopes the healing goes smoothly. What a gorgeous lady. We hope you feel a lot better soon. Thank you so much, Brian. And let's not forget that dogs are people too. The best kind of people. The next shout out comes from Ricky Carey to a beautiful Jack Russell Terrier dog named Panda. He's a very hyperactive, acrobatic, playful, and loyal dog. Ricky says he likes lots of snacks, walking in the park, and long naps after his walks. You gotta get those long naps in, eh, Panda? Thank you so much, Ricky. Thank you so much, guys. That's it for today. See you on the other side. Bye. So hot. It is so freaking hot. I am actually melting, but we're going to persevere anyway. Are you snoring behind me? Am I gonna have to edit out a lot of you snoring today? I think I am. I think I am.